For about three weeks, I've been working on a project that started with the few pieces of the house I had here on the left that I used uh, to be the little boy's house when I did my Christmas movie this year. You're seeing how it looked there. It was just three pieces of the house. Part of the front and the left side is all I had. Then I discovered the other pieces for the other end and the side, and I decided to go ahead and try to complete the house. So I used cardboard to make the upper end, the back, and roof sections. And then I had a better idea for the roof, so I started using a pizza box, and I made new sides and the roof with the pizza box. Uh, th those are just pencil marks to designate the uh, the roof shingles and then I was able to buy the other roof section as I painted it to match the part I'd made then I decided to put interior in the house um, I used part of an egg carton to complete the chimney um, and this this shows the steps I redid the siding or I originally did the siding using uh, the box for butter that's what that looked like there. I, I made my own windows, decided I could do better. I was able to find some windows online. And I put interiors in my buildings so that you just don't look through one window and see everything. Then I decided I could make better siding um, using uh, a, uh, a box that I got White Castle cheeseburgers in. So between working on that and working on interiors, you're seeing my different steps here. Um, the building is starting to look more complete. Now you're starting to see some views showing the interior. I added paint. The interiors in these buildings don't necessarily make sense because the, the buildings look good from the outside, but there just isn't places to put everything inside. But the main thing for me is to block the view looking all the way through the house. And coming up, you'll see why that makes a difference. The rooms are painted different colors, although often you can't see inside. But I have some fun with this. You see the downstairs is divided. If you go through the back door, there are walls to both sides. You see there are a couple doors upstairs. Now I'm redoing the siding using the uh, White Castle box. I completely cut out the windows. This is right there was where uh, I had just cut out the openings for the windows after putting the siding on, on just one side. Now it's looking even more finished. There's still some touch-up I had to do. Just taking a view all the way around. If you look closely, you'll notice a number of times I've made different adjustments. Now, here's a comparison building. I got this after I had the parts for the new one. You see how you look in these windows, you can just see all the way through the house from downstairs to upstairs. And of course, that doesn't happen in real houses. So just for a comparison, we're going to move over to the new one I've been working on and see, you see through just one window there. You do see through the great room. That's fine for this particular style of house. If you notice now, you don't see the back windows coming through the front because they are separate rooms. You're going to see a bit of a difference here on the end where you just don't see through as much of the house because there are interior walls. And you see a difference in the houses here. This one has not been painted at this stage and it looks plastic. The other one I have painted most of the house of the original plastic so it just doesn't look as plastic anymore. Again, you can just see all the way through the house. Here you see the interior walls in some places. You can just make out the door into that room. 
And the windows that didn't already have plastic in them, including the basement windows you see here, do have plastic. I just got that from uh, the plastic uh, encasements that I bought some donuts in. The windows with drapes are original windows that were already in the houses. This one was already glued together, and you see paint slopped over and so on. I fixed that up some, and we'll see more in a bit. You'll see later that the base on this side of the new house, I painted white to match the back. Didn't leave it unpainted. I took the drapes out that were in this window to open up that room. And there you just see the empty space for where the chimney was molded. Uh, I, did, I can't find this piece for the porch. I think I have it. So I used an egg carton to make it and I took the piece off this house and this is the replacement on this house. So I made good use of all kinds of things I get in the grocery store. And since I had opened up this room, it needed a fireplace in there. So there's the fireplace. And I didn't have downspouts for the one that I was making extra pieces for. So I used a couple pieces of plastic to manufacture the front downspout, and you'll see it's a pretty good match for the original. And there's a downspout that goes on the side. So here I am lining that to attach that downspout. The one on the back of the house is already molded in. Also, you may notice over the garage door is a, a light that I built to replace one that was missing. And you've seen the fireplace now in the living room. And the reflections on the windows, I think, make it look more realistic. Now, how does it look on the layout? Here's the first look. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze there. I may adjust where the road is a bit. But here is the new house on the layout. Um, I'm quite confident it is going to stay here. Maybe if I move the road, the house will move a little bit further away from the railroad tracks. But you notice here some changes I made just today. The uh, welcome mat at the front door is now painted. And I finished the top of the chimney. Some stormy weather came in today, so my uh, mini helicopter is bouncing around a little bit here. I hope you can excuse the, the rough movements. We actually did go from sunshine to heavy sleet to sunshine to strong winds. All kinds of wild weather here today. This gives you an idea of how the interior helps to uh, uh, make it more realistic what you can see through windows rather than just seeing what's on the other side coming through every place. So I think it's worth all the effort and I have fun doing it. Thanks for making it all the way through. Please share this with friends. They may be interested. And there's another video coming soon. Thanks for watching.